Hello, it's time for art. This week, I will be providing five choices of activities for you and your student to choose from, but feel free to complete all five if you want. For activity one, we will be painting a beehive. Let's think about what color a beehive would be. Hmm, bees make honey and honey is yellow or golden. So you will need yellow or gold paint. You will also need paper, something to draw with, and bubble wrap. First, we're gonna start by drawing our beehive. We're going to start with a oval, and then we're gonna use smiley face shapes and add them to our oval. Our smiley face shapes are going to get bigger as we add them. And then they're going to get smaller. And then we're going to add a black oval in the middle of our beehive. This is going to be like the front door for our bees to come and go in our beehive. Next, we are going to get our yellow paint. We're going to make sure it's spread out so it's not too thick. We're going to take our bubble wrap and we're going to wrap it around our fingers. We're going to dip it in our paint and then tap, tap, tap on our beehive to make texture. Next, we're going to take our thumb, put it in the paint, and we're using our thumb to make bees. I'm going to make five. I already have one, two, three, four, five bees. I'm going to wait for my paint to dry and then I'm going to add details to my bees. Now that our paint has dried, we can add details to our bees. These can be antennas, stripes, eyes, mouth, Our antennas kind of look like a V. And we can even add some dashed lines to show that our bees were flying around. For activity two, we will be creating cherry blossom trees. Have you ever been to Washington DC to see the cherry blossoms bloom? For this, I will be using paper, a black marker to draw, a bottom of a bottle, pink paint. But if you don't have a bottom of a bottle or pink paint, you will be able to use crayons or markers to draw your own flowers. I'm gonna start by drawing my tree trunk. I'm going to draw one line with a little bit of squiggle in it. 
I'm gonna go up and down a few times to make it thick like a tree. And then I'm going to add some branches to it. My branches are just more limes. Next, I'm going to use the bottom of my bottle. I'm using a soda bottle, but if you're using a smaller sheet of paper, you could use the bottom of a water bottle as it will make smaller flowers. I'm going to put it in my pink paint and stamp flowers. around my branches. Ta-da! Activity three will be painting flowers. If you do not have paint, you can draw your flowers. I'm using paper, paint, and a fork to print my flowers. For this one, I have all different colors of paint for my flowers. First, I'm going to start with green to paint the stems of my flowers. The stems are the part that grow out of the ground. You can use your finger or a paintbrush for this. Our stems are going to be lines that grow up from the ground. You can paint as many stems as you want. For each stem that we paint, we are going to paint a flower. Your stems can all be tall, or they can be short, or they can be different sizes. I'm gonna make this one really tall. Next, we're going to use our fork and we're going to stick it in our paint. And this is how we're going to make our flowers. You can make multiple fork prints for one flower, or you can make just one. I'm going to make my flowers different colors, but I just have one fork, so my colors might get a little mixed and make new colors. You can add, even add more details by adding leaves to your flowers. If you have yellow, you could even use your thumb again 
and make bees above your flowers. I already put my yellow paint away. Ta-da! Activity four is an experiment. All you need is a paper towel, markers, and two cups of water, and then get ready to watch your rainbow grow. We're going to start by folding our paper towel in half. Then we are going to color the ends of our paper towel with our markers. We will be coloring just the ends. You do not have to color in rainbow order, but I'm going to. Yellow's next. Green. Lastly, purple. How many colors did I use in my rainbow, friends? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six colors. What colors did I use? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Next, I'm going to take my two glasses of water and I'm going to put either side of the paper towels into the water and wait and see what happens. The rainbow should grow together. This might take some time, so be patient, friends. Wow, look at all those colors. We have a full rainbow now. Look at how the water has colors in it now. That's pretty groovy. What was your favorite part of watching the colors flow? Do you have a favorite color? Did any of the colors mix together? in your cups to make a new color? Activity five is salt art. This one will require the most materials, paper, glue, salt, watercolors, and a paintbrush. For this one, we're going to start with our glue and we're going to draw with it. You can choose what you want to draw. You can draw flowers,
or bees. I'm going to add some grass. Maybe I'll add a sun. A cloud. to go back through and make some of my lines thicker with the glue. And then I'm going to take my salt and make sure I cover all my glue with it. Now, I'm going to wait for the glue to dry. Now it's time to add some color with our watercolors. The more water we use, the more our colors will move throughout our salt. See how I'm just tapping a little? Yet, my color is moving throughout the grass. That's pretty cool. I'm going to use a darker green for the stem of my flower. My B will be yellow.
homework today, friends. I hope you enjoyed creating. You can share what you made today by emailing me or at Miss Art Nicolette. I miss you and I look forward to seeing you next week.